Athena with Goddess Paints and Resins again. I'm going to try to do another one of the blooms. Um, I did like the one that the, the other one that I did came out very nice. Um, I do like that one quite a bit. So I had some paints that I haven't had a chance to label yet, so I'm not 100% sure what they are. So I don't know if I'm going to be putting a description in the box below because I'm not 100% sure. I did get a new blow dryer. There's no top on there. So um, what I thought was is I can use that. It has three settings. So it's like one, two, three. I think the second setting, the first setting is high, no heat, low, no heat, and then high with heat, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I was trying to test out earlier. But it doesn't have a lid on it, or a top rather. You guys can see it. Um, so I figured this might be a little bit better to do the bloom. I don't know if it's going to work, but we are going to see. I am going to try, I had um, house paint um, that was going bad. I thought it was white, but it's not. It's like this weird off-white. So I think I mixed it pretty good. Let's see if you guys can see it. Um, but I don't know if it's going to work. It didn't work on my last couple of paintings that I did. So I figured it's a small canvas. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to throw it out. Um, so that's going to be my base. And then I'm going to do a white cell activator. That's just the Australian Floetrol mixed with the, um, uh, my goodness, I can't think today. Australian, uh, not Australian, Amsterdam white. And then I got PVO light gold in this bottle here. So those ones I do know. Um, this one I know is PVO uh, blue black. So I do know this one as well. Sorry, I'm just giving them a shake. Um, this one I believe is almost like um, is Amsterdam. No, this one is actually a Sapphire Blue by Folk Art. So that's what's in this one. It has like a pretty, it's a pretty blue. Uh, I don't really know what colors I have, so I apologize. This one's purple, it has a sparkle to it, but I don't know what color it is. I'm not 100% sure. And then I have my green. I don't remember what green this is, but I know it's Arteza. Sorry, I missed them a while ago. And then I think I'm going to do red. And this one. I don't remember this one either. I mixed all these and I don't remember what they are. And I mixed them a while ago, so I'm just trying to use up some old paint so I can wash them out and then redo them and put labels on them so that way I know what the heck I'm talking about. So I think I'm going to do the bloom. I don't know if that's too many colors, but I'm going to do blue, purple, green, the blue, black, red, and gold um, with the white cell activator. So we are going to see how this turns out. Like I said, I just mixed up a little tiny cup because I don't know how good this is going to do. I'm keen to find out. Sorry. Okay, so normally I use my my OXO or o yeah uh, spatula, but this is just a regular silicone spatula, so I'm just going to use that to move it around just because it's so small. And if it doesn't work, I don't want to get that one all nasty. Sorry if I'm in the way. I'm trying some new camera angles and see if maybe this one will be a little bit better. Oh, 
Hot air bubbles. I don't know if this one's gonna work because it's so thick. I'm not going to worry too much about the sides. I'll get them in a, in a little bit because, like I said, I don't know if this doesn't work. I'm just going to end up scraping it and then doing something else. So I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm sorry if I'm getting in your guys' way. I'm still trying to get used to my camera angles. So we're going to start off with the blue. Tons of air bubbles. I don't see anybody using the torch when they're doing the blooms, but I feel like it's not going to hurt anything. If anything, it's going to help it. I mean, if it hinders it, it hinders it. But my last one, I used the torch and I didn't really have any issues. And then the purple. And then the green. Sorry if you hear my dogs. I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, but it's the 4th of July today. Blue, black. So they're kind of going crazy. And then the red. I don't know how well these colors are going to look together. And then the gold. Did a great job at centering that, didn't I? Okay. Just gonna pop the air bubbles as best as I can. Sorry that my arm keeps getting in your guys' way. And then I'm gonna do the cell activator. Last time I didn't really put a lot on there and I regretted it. So now I'm going to go in straight down and then I'm going to push it out. I'm going to try it on both first. So that little hair dryer actually worked pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. I wasn't sure if it was going to. It's one of those that come with like a bunch of different attachments. So you can do like curls or straightening or you know whatever. Whatever girls do. I personally don't ever do my hair really. I just kind of brush it and go. Crazy wild look. <laughs> Unless I'm painting then it's up in a crazy messy bun. So. I am going to try to get in here and break the tension, um, so sorry in advance for my big head. And then I'm just going to let it kind of close back in on itself. And then I am going to take some more of this here because for some reason it's not really flowy. I know that's not a word, but it's not flowing at all right here. 
and then a little bit right up in here. It's like the canvas sucked up that house paint. Maybe that's why people don't really use certain paints. But it was on sale and it was one of those oopsies. So it said it was white, but obviously, as you can see, or I don't know if you can, but it's not white. It's like a gray color. I don't know what, I don't know what color you call it. Okay. I do have my canvas on push pins, so I do not know how well this is going to work out. Are you going to stay? Okay, so I do have my canvas on push pins. So I don't know if it's going to stay on there or not. I hope it does. Because if not, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? can still see it. I need to get a better spinner box like everybody has. I do not have one of those yet. That gold certainly took over over here. Just touching up my sides. So this side here doesn't, I put more paint on there, sorry for my reach, but it still isn't really doing anything, not really sure why. If I can't tilt it just a hair. Sorry if my arm's in the way. I can't really see. hands off so I try to scooch over.
Okay guys, so I'm back. I just kind of blew out some of these areas. I don't know if you can see them or not, but I blew in right here, kind of where it was just the base color. I kind of blew that out just a little bit because um, I didn't really care for it. Um, I don't mind doing the blows, doing the blows. So I blew in where the base color was showing quite a bit. Um, also try to get it to help my sides because they were still a little blank. They still are just a little. Dip my finger in the paint. Let's see here. So now let's go in and torch it. Like I said, I know a lot of people don't torch it after. Um, I don't see the problem with it. I like getting random little cells. Some people don't like the little cells that come up after it. So I'm just going to torch it just a little bit. Pop whatever air bubbles there are. And then not a lot really happened. Um, but that's okay. I'm definitely okay with that. I like the way that that composition looks. It's crazy because it kind of looks like a... You know, like a sea creature or something. So, I don't mind it at all. It's kind of funky. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess, and then I'll take you guys in for a close-up. I kind of like how it's softer around the edges, and then just like that bright pop right in the middle. That's kind of cool to me. I don't know. And that's kind of hard for you guys to see it, huh? Okay guys, so here's the wet result. See how there's that pop and the lacing in the center and then all of those cool little blue cells, maybe like a like a sea creature or something with like water around it. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. Lots of really pretty cells that came out. I'm glad that I blowed out the edges. It actually looks pretty cool. I like how that white's just kind of still in the middle. So those colors actually work pretty well together. I'm kind of surprised. So I will let you know when that one dries and then maybe we'll have a little bit of time left so maybe I can go ahead and do another one. So if not then I will see you guys when it's dry. Bye!